Hi everyone, this is the Beer Watcher. It's November 12th, 2016, and I'm showing you today some new material that NASA's been working out. New material, new ultra-thin optical devices shape light in exotic ways. So in this material, researchers have developed an innovative flat optical lenses it's part of a collaboration between NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory and California Institute of Technology. And I'm going to cut to the chase on this one, but they use, instead of glass, they use silicon nanopillars precisely ranged into a honeycomb pattern to control the pass and properties of passing light waves. Application. I'll check this out. We include advanced microscopes, displays, sensors, cameras, and can be used to mass produce using the same techniques of computer microchips. These flat lenses will have more compact, robust imaging assemblies. I don't know why they couldn't use this on a large scale since it's nanotechnology. But the way this works is the scene under scanning electron microscope, the new metastructure research created to resemble what looks like a cut forest where only a stump remains. Each silicone stump or pillar has an elliptical cross section. And by carefully varying the diameter of each of these pillars and rotating them around, around their axis, scientists are able to simultaneously manipulate and polarization of passing light. So let's go back and look at this. Manipulation and passing of light. Hope you can see this. I'll leave a link in the description that they can change the diameter and rotate each of these independently. And since it would act like a display, that would like a TV set. So, ultra light, they could roll us up billions, just a few billions of an inch in thickness. And these are nano, so that would also be a billionth. Next, I would like to show you, uh, again, let me zoom in on this picture here, and you can see this light passing through it vertically on this plane and you're reshaping this light. And this would be the new focal point as it wave shapes the wave of light, which has electromagnetic properties. So next, I'd like to show you this time-lapse video over Australia, which this seems to be coming. Let's just run the time-lapse video. And we can see this lens. Not a planet, because we can see light passing through it and see the light diffracting on this other side of it, right here, going through it. Okay, so again, a it shows a couple times. See the rainbow effect here is the shaping the light through this, each of these prisms. Very light. And then we can see as this thing passes through on the other side, I continue to capture this time lapse and it is being seen in different places of the Earth. This thing is in a similar stable orbit. I still believe it to following the Nemesis star or different planets. Whenever you see this rose petal design, uh, display here, we know that this is being used. So, again, this may be the new part of uh, Project Blue Beam. Maybe that's going to be a, a display of a UFO spaceship in the near future. Please tell me what you think of this new patent uh, that NASA is working on with this new technology. It appears to be relatively light, cheaply made. So back to the JPL Laboratory, new ultra-thin optical devices shape light in exotic ways. And they may not say it here, but it is basically magnetic wave shaping since light has magnetic properties along its wave. It can be shaped and delayed. Now, each of these nanopillars can change in diameter and rotate independently creating either a large one large focal lens or millions of separate ones this is on the nano scale
This is just an artist drawing, but the the technology that could have implied here with the silicon nanopillars, range of honeycomb pattern to create a meta surface, has an amazing set. This thing could check this out. These flat lenses will help make more compact and robust imaging assemblies on a large scale basis, even polarization of light waves and redirecting light waves. Again, it, here we have a, another company that's working on a similar project, ultra thin lenses. Why are they so focused on that? See, this kind of, that's how they do this. They get other companies to make this stuff, take their technology without knowing the real reason why they're making this product. With this ultra thin distortion free flat lens could replace bulky lenses, bulky glass lenses. Look how it's taking the incoming light through these gold antennas, concentric rings. Looks a lot like the Fresnel lens, doesn't it? And as the light comes through to this focal point by phase shifting this light, this is the new focal point or point where light is seen. See the light's coming off. We can see this. This is the unseen. This is where it's now visible. This could actually act as a display also because this is, we're talking nanoscale here. And this would basically act as like a 3D pixel. Imagine what would they could do if they had this in outer space. Sounds like Project Bluebeam to me. Their very display system. These 83 inch touchscreens ain't got nothing what these things can do in outer space. The miniaturization electronics particular has electronic sensors, which digital images are captured, has digital cameras to shrink to such a degree that they're now standardized. Well, now they've taken it to a whole new level because they've gotten away from distortion. Now they're using phase shifting, magnetic wave shaping of the lenses by changing the light path time it takes to pass through the two nano thin layer of gold. So the new lens, starting with an ultra thin wafer of silicon, we played it with nanometer of thin gold. They stripped away parts of the gold. Is that interesting? What color of light would that kind of look red, wouldn't it, as light passed through it? To an array of V-shaped structures, evenly spaced rows across the surface. These structures act as nano antennas when a laser is shined onto the lens. Nano antennas. Well, that just basically picks up the vibration and resends it back out. That's what that really is. And uh, how does that work? Through the magnetic field properties of the light itself. And they just rebroadcast it. The traditional glass wood, these precisely tuned delays, change the direction of the light without the optical aberrations in conventional lenses. Lenses. In fact, its creators say that the lens produced images are more completely accurate and don't require any complex technology techniques to correct the fisheye effect or astigmatism and coma aberrations that can occur with traditional lenses because it's completely flat that's why it's not bending it it's shaping the wave it's changing the taking the incoming antennas and reprojecting it wow who's got can check this out man this is some awesome stuff the way light really works. Yeah, we've been lied to about how this light really works. It's not really traveling, but they're just changing it. And imagine taking an incoming signal through a magnetic field and then re sending it back out. Just enough of a delay. And there's different techniques of doing this. This one here, they're using gold rings. And there may be a combination of two by the time it waited in outer space. This one here is changing the timing by rotating the size rotating them independently with a size. Look very carefully at this. See how we can see this round shape here. It helps to explain as the light is passing through this point to create the focal point of light here again. Slightly different technique. Could be a combination of the two. So, please copy, like, and share this video. I'll leave links in the description. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.